Okay, well, the first firmware uh, update is out for the ICOM 7300. I'm going to walk you through uh, uh, doing that update. First, the thing you want to do is put your SD card in and it'll mount. And if you made uh, changes to the settings on the radio, you want to go ahead and save those. And you push the menu button and go to set and scroll down, find the SD card and uh, go up to save settings uh, do a new file you can change the name of that file if you want I'll just leave it the uh, dates in there hit enter and then yes to save the file and that's completed the next thing you want to do is back up uh, this SD card so when you put it back in the radio and format it you won't lose these settings Let's uh, uh, go down to uh, unmount and hit yes, unmount complete. Now we can pop the SD card out and we'll move over to the computer to back it up and then we're going to do a uh, format and we're going to put the uh, firmware on the SD card and then update it. We've uh, put the SD card into the computer and you'll click on the uh, removable card and you'll see the IC7300 folder there. To back this up, you simply uh, right click on that and then left click on copy and then go to where you want to save it and uh, Mine is under ICOM and then ICOM 7300. I already have a backup in here, but I'll, I'll right click and then left click on paste and it puts the folder there. You want to rename it and I'll just make this backup uh, number two. There you go. Now, uh, to remove the SD card from your computer, you want to make sure that you unmount it. And uh, that's down on the bottom right hand corner. I don't have it on my secondary monitor, but it's in the bottom right hand corner. And you'll uh, click on the uh, little icon to eject the card. You want to make sure that you do that. We made a copy of our SD card. We want to put it in back into the radio. And you'll notice that it loads. Next thing we want to do is format it so we can put the firmware on it. Hit menu, set, SD card, format. Hit yes to format it. And now we're ready to uh, load the firmware onto the SD card. Don't forget to hit unmount yes and pop the card out we're going to take it over to our computer and we're going to copy the firmware onto the card okay now we're back to the computer we formatted the sd card in the radio put the sd card back into the computer and here you'll see the ic7300 folder now what we want to do is go to the ICOM website and uh, download the new firmware. This is the uh, URL. Just go to the uh, support area and then download and choose the correct radio. It will bring you to this page. It gives you a little information on updating the firmware. And then you just click agree and it saves the file to your computer 2.7 megabytes left click and then click on show in folder and here it is and i've already got one uh, in there so this is a different one uh, so i'm going to extract it i right click and then left click on extract all and it brings up a window 
and it's going to extract it to this folder and it's going to show the extracted files when it's complete. Left click on extract and there's the file. Now what we want to do is copy it to our SD card and we want to put it in to the 7300 folder. So I'm going to click the little arrow here and it displays the IC7300 folder. I'm going to drag this file and it's going to copy it into the folder. And there we go. So if I click on it, there's our file 7300 underscore 112. And don't forget to safely eject the card. The firmware on the SD card, we're going to put it back in the radio. Pop it in, you'll see that it loads. And if you're reading the instructions in the manual on uh, page 15, I believe, 15.5, uh, they've got some warnings in there. And one of the warnings is uh, don't turn off the radio when you're updating the firmware. Another warning is if your power goes out while it's updating, uh, your radio may have to be sent back into the factory. So uh, if you want to, uh, you know, put your. Uh, power supply onto a, a UPS backup but I'm gonna take my uh, chances here and just hope my power didn't go out while it's updating the firmware so what you want to do is go to the menu go to set and then uh, we're gonna oops go back to uh, SD card and we're gonna do firmware update and it gives you a warning here it's very risky don't make a mistake and it gives you some conditions and make up a backup file which we've done do you agree? yes this is the firmware hey, it comes to this screen and do you wish to start the firmware update and touch yes for one second updating the main CPU firmware please wait updating DSP Hope the power didn't go out. Firmware updating completed. It's going to restart. And we're at 1.12. And everything looks good. Okay, got the guys on the radio, that's it, thanks for watching, 73 and good DX.